as you know we have got the full scale engineering development approval in april 2024 and this development phase will continue for 10 years because we have just started our development uh, journey we expect that this aircraft will be uh, touching the sky towards the end of the 2028 indigenously we have developed it and we have achieved a high technology readiness level with those materials we have fabricated our some of the components where you we have demonstrating it here as far as the capabilities and then futures are concerned it will be at par with any other first generation fighter aircraft in the world As you know, we have got the full scale engineering development approval in April 2024, and this development phase will continue for 10 years because we have just started our development uh, journey, and we expect that this aircraft will be uh, touching the sky towards the end of the 2028. Fifth generation, when you say it's a stealth, they, it essentially comes from the one is from the shaping. The shape itself is entirely a different uh, shape compared to the fourth generation aircraft the second important future is that the moment you say stealth the weapons and all have to be carried internally nothing should be seen outside because the moment you carry the weapons outside it becomes a non stealth so that is why we have a, something called the internal weapon bay where weapons can be carried internally in the stealth mission this is one of the key technology the second key technology is that none of the antennas will be Uh, protruding out everything is a conformal antennas this is a second technology the third technology will be the diverterless supersonic intake where the serpentine duct it, it, it is there it will mask the engine face the radar cannot be able to see the engine face serpentine duct with dsi is a another key important technology apart from this the stealth is being achieved by shaping number 1 supported by the radar absorbing structures for which a special materials have to be developed that with the help of the drdo labs and csir labs indigenously we have developed it and we have achieved a high technology readiness level with those materials we have fabricated our some of the components where you we have demonstrating it here you can see that lot of ground testing has already been done and we have very high confidence on these uh, stealth materials china has also developed the fifth generation now they are working on sixth generation so how Do you compare the capabilities that you are aspiring to have in this, and what they already have? See, as far as the capabilities and then futures are concerned, it will be at par with any other first-generation fighter aircraft in the world. That much confident that we have got, because we know the what are all the technologies that we are implementing in this particular aircraft, and we have also incorporating what is called the electronic pilot, which will be. Uh, and this aircraft will be useful in this net centric war will be participating in the net centric warfare environment that electronic support with lot of decision aids and all will help the pilot to achieve it as a, a real 5 plus generation aircraft something about which india as a country should be worried about we need not worry about it is my feeling it because this is my personal uh, feeling because we know the adversaries we know what are all the Uh, capabilities uh, that we have got and uh, as a country we are progressing from 5 5 plus to the 6 so yes there may be a, as a uh, citizens of the, this thing when our uh, neighbors when they are that particular news is coming we may be little worried but we should never bother about that particular thing and then we should continue our development and uh, we will be supporting our tri services with all our indigenous technologies